Let's create our first sketch and learn how to sketch in Onshape. So we'll go to Create, Document. Let's call this my first sketch. Inside of Onshape, you have this 3D drawing area. These are called drawing planes. I can control by right-clicking on my mouse. On a Mac, the trackpad, you hold down two fingers and you can move around in 3D space. I can also go over here and manipulate here and here and so forth. If I zoom in and out with the roller and I get to close or it moves off the screen by holding the roller down, I can move it left and right, up, down. If it ends up off the screen, just hit F. Shortcut key will bring everything back to center. Okay, let's start sketching. Sketch. Now I choose a plane that I want to sketch on. Let's say front. Now I want to flatten this out, so I'm going to use the shortcut key N. Or I can right click and view normal to sketch plane. So again, N or right click, view normal to sketch plane. Now I'm ready to draw. So I've activated the sketch. Here are my sketching tools. Let's start with a line. Now if you see, it shows line or the shortcut key L for line. So I can click here or I can hit L. Line, 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 line. Now what's neat about this program is, let's say I wanted to line these two up. All I do is I go up here and I touch that and you see the little drawing aid, the little marching ants, and now that's lined up. Once I'm done, I just hit escape and now I can draw something different. I don't know why I'm drawing a house that's sideways, but oh well. And circles, arcs, my suggestion is you just play with these tools. I'm going to hit L for line if I wanted to fill this in. This is the spline. If you hit these down arrows, it gives you different options. Now to trim, I can hit the letter M or click on the trim button. And now I can trim away different parts. Hit escape. I can also select a line, grab the end, and move it to manipulate it. This is a cool function, the offset. If I click here, I can click that, 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 and that, and now it will offset in whatever direction I pull that arrow. Offset. The dimension function, we'll get to that a little later. The arcs command, or fillet, I select that, I select a point, and then I can drag out an arc. Hit return. Arc command again. Hit return. Again, you'll have to play with these functions to get used to them. Dimensioning, the dimension button is here. So I can click and drag out a dimension and it gives me the option to change the dimension. If I want to make this six. I can also select between two points and create a dimension. I'm going to make that 2.
Now here's a problem that you'll run into periodically. Because I already have a dimension here. This dimension is locking this line at a set distance of 0.93 from this line. So if I try and redimension this distance, I can't because it's already locked here. So sometimes when you try and do something, it'll turn red and just say this sketch cannot be solved. So I hit escape. I'm going to go undo. Undo and redo are great tools to use. I can also go control Z to undo. So there's some basic sketching techniques.